What is up, y'all? We have some updating to do. So right now, we are in the beautiful, sunny state of Florida. It's currently blowing like 30 mile per hour winds. But it's Florida, dude. It's 57 degrees here. It's actually snowing back at home. We have like a freaking blizzard winter wonderland. Well, I guess not home anymore. That's weird. If y'all haven't been following the channel, my girlfriend Kelsey and I bought a travel trailer and this is like now our full-time home. We're gonna be RVing across the country. I'm from Delaware. I mean, I feel like that'll always kind of be home. Back there, I guess there's like a lot of snow, which I'm kind of sad because I love snow, but we missed that. If you guys haven't seen the last video, I gave you guys kind of like a full tour of the whole camper definitely check that out if you have not yet already first day of our trip we left delaware right it was probably the worst day in delaware i felt this year it was like 15 14 degrees it was blowing 30 mile per hour winds i was trying to get these freaking kayaks on my truck it was just a big freaking mess maybe we left a lot later than we wanted to but we got down to i think it was virginia or north carolina or something it was about four or five hour drive and we stayed the first night at our first campground ever we were literally so exhausted from like just preparing everything getting everything out of our apartment the wintry cold and windy day two we drove about five hours more down south i think we ended up going to a uh, campground on the edge of south carolina and georgia first night it was like 22 degrees we warmed up the camper it was pretty good but it was just cold we had no hookups that night besides electric we didn't want to freeze our water pipes second night we had full hookups third day we ran into some struggles it was beautiful campground the second night to the third morning that we stayed at we woke up it was like 57 degrees that's warm in delaware would be like 20 30 degrees but yeah so we pack everything up we go to turn out and there's this freaking stump this was the stump of all stumps Tells he kind of told me like yeah you're not gonna be able to pull out you gotta go like backwards and then out the other road but i was like i, I got this i didn't have it we got like trapped between a stump and all these trees and everything 33 foot freaking trailer it was like super muddy too um we had to put in four low it took like an hour uh yeah that was not fun finally we got out then we came through south carolina then we came through georgia and now we are in freaking florida dude It feels so good to be in Florida. For other people's safety, for the safety of like our gear, we didn't really film. Like, I, it's not exactly how I want to film the camper stuff. We're gonna be showing you guys more of everything. Kelsey's gonna be in more. Camper's gonna be in more. The camper's gonna be in more. But yeah, just like so much stuff was happening. It was our first time doing stuff. We didn't want to break anything. So yeah, we came all the way down here to Florida. Let me actually show you guys what we got over here. So this is the kayak situation. We got the old faithful red rocket up there. We actually have these Yakima, uh, I think this is called an overhaul HD which I bought is not like sponsored anything. This big old thing attaches to this tonneau cover, which is like a slide back. I'll show you guys that in the future, but yeah, we can put a bunch of stuff here. And then we got the big old old town. I cannot wait to put these dudes in the water. And it's cool because Kelsey can have one too. We're definitely going to be doing a lot of kayak fishing and just a lot of cool stuff. But as you guys can see, there's no camper. I really just want to film and fish as much as possible here and just get so many videos out. So the cool thing is that my sister actually lives down here in Florida. We're staying with her for, I don't, I don't know how long, maybe a couple weeks. I know we literally just started this whole camper thing, but we put it in storage for now that way i could just go around here and make like a bunch of videos for a little bit today though i don't know if you guys can see that in the background or not today we are at an academy sports and outdoors this is like pretty similar if i remember to dick sporting goods but last time i was here this place was freaking awesome from my understanding it's kind of like a southern thing i've only been here one time ever and you guys saw that in this video i'll link it up here and down in the description below but yeah i'm excited dude so we are going to go in here to academy sports and outdoors i'm telling you they had a crazy fishing session last time i was here we're going to go in here with a budget of 50 dollars again bringing back the og budget fishing challenges with that fifty dollars we have to buy a rod reel line lures everything that's gonna hopefully help us catch a fish here today yesterday it was super windy it was blowing 30 and i guess it's like kind of like a cold front here in florida last night it was like 38 degrees so that's i mean for florida that's pretty freaking cold dude i don't know how these fish are gonna bite we're in freaking florida dude the sun feels so good it's like 60 degrees but this i mean comparing this to delaware it's, it's not there's no comparison i mean it's freaking january dude so yeah we're gonna get in here deep in the trenches of academy sports and outdoors my second time ever in here let's get in here see what we can find hopefully catch us a freaking fish last time we were actually here you guys remember that video we got a rod that was literally this color it was literally like a foot long too dude i gotta give it to y'all man they have a big old freaking i mean last time we were here at least they had a giant fishing section they had a bunch of kayaks over here though i don't know where those are at. here all the way to the end this is interesting man okay h2o express they have a big old wall this i was wondering and i just looked it up this is actually like the academy brand 
fishing stuff. This is actually pretty cool. So I guess Dick's Sporting Goods has Jawbone. Bass Pro Shops has like the Bass Pro stuff. This is their H2O Express. Ooh. I kind of want to test some of these things out. This is actually pretty cool. So this is how I guess it's just like a bunch of hard baits and stuff. We got the Spook Spinner Baits, Chatter Baits. Now this is something I got, I got to ask y'all, man. This is the jackhammer. This is a $16.49. And then we are in Florida, so there's tax as well. This is supposed to be like a better uh, chatter bait than just like the normal original chatter bait. Let me know if you guys have ever used this and if you guys think it is. Low key, I've used this thing like twice and I don't know. How much is the normal chatter bait? It is like four bucks. So is this thing, what is this, like four times as much? Like, Is it worth that? I don't know. Look at that big old dude right there. What else do they got here? I like to like visit different tackle shops and see what's different in these ones than it is in Delaware. I've never seen these in a Delaware tackle shop. H and H. The original mini single spinner lure. Looks like they got a couple ones of them. We got some Rage Tails, Zoom Worms, Abu Garcia Real. I don't know what this section is. This might be kind of interesting comes with a buzz bait shad finesse worm bitsy bug striking hat huh just like dick sporting goods got an assortment of the big bite baits these are a good cheaper alternative a lot of the times never seen these before either these are from big bite baits yeah this is just like the soft plasticky aisle um shout out to this cart you got your sankos you got your zakos this is kind of intriguing seven 79 though and there's tax as i said though we're kind of just getting like a feel for everything and then maybe when we get a rod and reel we can kind of figure out what we're going to be getting a little easier so this here is like the terminal tackle rig aisle i've seen a lot of people actually use this for uh speckled trout and redfish and stuff i kind of want to get into that i really like i'm planning on doing a lot of saltwater fishing over down here in florida but not today got some shrimp if there's one thing i remember about florida tackle shops they have lots of freaking shrimp lures. Hooks, 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 hooks. We got the gulp crabs. Still never used these before. Ah, dude, this is just getting me wanted these salt water fishing so bad. I want to catch some snooks and redfish. Just a bunch of other, like there's so many different things in Florida I want to catch, man. Look at these little dudes right here. Hello? There are so many different things. Like even not salt water wise, I know that will freaking crush that. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Man. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp. I know these are supposed to be super good for salt water too. We gotta get out of this salt water. We, we gotta get. We've now entered Spoon City. This right here, this is something, dude. This would be so freaking cool. I don't know when the season is. Look at this, man. This is a deluxe lobster kit. I don't know what the heck that comes with. $24.99. How cool would that freaking be, man? To do like a catch and cook or something with lobster. Florida lobsters are interesting too, too. They're like a lot different than like the main ones. I don't even think they have claws. So we got rods on rods on rods on rods on rods on rods on rods. This is actually kind of interesting too. So we got a bunch of different tackle box things. We got fishing care package. I have no clue what that comes with. There's actually an Academy saltwater fishing gift pack. I don't know if you guys want to see any of those. What do we got here in the case? Anything super crazy expensive 150 lose tournament that thing right there is obnoxious. What's the most expensive one here? Is that 159? Is that the most expensive? Because we were just at Bass Pro the most expensive was like 650 bucks. Look at they got a whole wall here whole wall here whole wall here. I think probably I mean we only have like a $50 budget We're supposed to have a $50 budget unless we bump it up again But I think we're gonna have to find something that's like a combo with line already on it. They do have their own brand That'd be interesting. What is this one? Hello $12.99. Oh, thing is swanging. That's only 12 bucks too. Oh, what the heck? Yo, they're like living in the future here, dude. Look at this. <laughs> Dang, man. They got a lot of freaking... Oh, here we go. What the heck kind of material is that? They have some bait casters. How much are these? Hello? Okay, $49.99. That's a little bit more expensive. Just that That's a freaking weird feeling. Put that thing back right here. Where'd it go? Maybe if we could find an H2O Express reel to go with this. They have H2O Express wine too h2o express h2o express dang dude they are freaking stocked all the way up it's a freaking live bait same with the line look at all this different kind of line they got these like rod reel holders rod sock gloves dang it all right so i found h2o express brand reel but this is a 60 freaking dollars that thing actually looks pretty nice too loki i want to get into this too freaking metal tech thing how sick would that be to find like some freaking pirate treasure yeah so as far as like all these combos go i don't know i mean here dude i really want to get one of these dudes what i'll we'll probably end up getting one of these dudes pretty darn soon these ones are freaking crazy looking too as far as like cheaper combos or cheaper reels like what's the cheapest reel we got oh dude right in here 29.99 h2o express Real and then we have another one 
99 we just got to get into here oh we also got some cheaper ish reels right here zebco 14 quantum 20 dollars um what is this yeah quantum quantum lose 39 49 79 39 Ooh. i think we got to do it though we got to get um i don't know which one one of these two 29 99 so 29 so that's 30 plus this was 12 right or like 13 that leaves us like six ish dollars i would think i don't know about tax where was this at is this the one? Oh yeah that's the one right there dude all right where's the uh where's the dude i think two free line is required with any h2o express purchase i think we get free lines so we don't have to spend any money on that oh dude this is the one from the last Academy challenge the highlighter. This thing is actually catching them dude. That's nice man. Always good to see an old friend All right, we had to go behind the counter over there. There we go, man The torrid spinning reel. All right now I did want to try the h2o express baits, but I don't know how much budget we have left I know that it has been really really cold though So might get something a little slower moving and then maybe we'll try one of those as well. Hmm. Let's maybe Big bite baits 349. I really want to try. I mean this is a freaking big old one right there i think we're maybe yeah let's go with this dude 6.99 the ultimate sunfish this might put us over but it's too bad i need this for the trip uh these are just some ewg hooks three out and four out i think that's pretty much everything right there we got the reel we got the rod reel some baits hooks. i did just want to see too though last time they had like so many kayaks dude what the heck look at this paddle it's like curvy Jeez. in case y'all water man most expensive kayak in academy 750 perception pescador pro 10 foot clean it's right on the door when you come in that there's no cameras or video okay unless somebody specifically told us you were coming to the store then i mean that might be something management might allow but okay how are y'all? It's a little bit later in the day now, but we came to a body of water. I've only been to here once. I really haven't explored this part of Florida too much where my sister lives now. But this right here should have some fish. This is kind of flooded a little bit. Ooh, one thing I will say about Florida, it's like, what is it? What time is it? 4.47 and we're finally getting out here. It would probably be almost dark, if not dark, I feel like in Delaware by now. We still have like an hour and a half or at least like two hours probably. Now here's the thing though. Uh, yeah, I say it every time I'm down here, but I mean, this can seriously be like Jurassic Park. Wow, that water, why is it up so high? Holy crap. Last time I was here, that was definitely not that high. That's kind of sketchy. Oh my gosh, dude, that bridge is like underwater. I guess we'll venture this way a little bit. But yeah, man, I've only fished here one time ever. And uh, yeah, this is literally Jurassic Park. Giant snakes, alligators, crazy freaking toothy, teethy fish. Water's just like a whole different game, man. I mean, I think I could honestly bring my kayak here and launch it. That'd be so sick. Oh wow, super clear water too. Kind of sketched out though. We might start here. I'm just not sure about this gator population. I think last year when I was here, I did actually see one. So let's uh, let's break this in a little bit, man. I waited to do this with y'all, man, so we could do this together. How crazy is that though? Twelve dollars and ninety nine cents for a rod. This is like the ultimate come up. Yeah, I'm gonna be letting y'all know if it's any good. But that's seriously like I, that's super nice and cheap. Oh, I just saw something jump out there. So I guess like maybe you could say this is kind of cheating, but I actually put fluorocarbon on this reel. Oh boy. Oh geez. All right, what do we got in here? I think, dude. I honestly. There's so much crap in the water here. I want to throw that bluegill, but I think we're just going to start off. What is this? Let's get one of these hooks out. This is actually cheap too. How many do you get? 15? It was like 350. The heck is that sound? There's some like kind of crazy bird call. But I feel like that's like kind of really cheap, isn't it? Big, 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 <laughs> big bite bait. If I remember correctly, they always have like a smell to them and they're kind of greasy. Oh yeah. Got that like anise flavoring smell. Ooh. I'm sure you guys have seen this like a million times. All we're gonna do, man, bring this through there, bring out through that, push up, do a little one of these guys, and then put it right through. These actually have like little hook keepers. Oh, did I do it backwards? It doesn't really matter. Boom, just like that, weightless Texas rig. The one thing, this is kind of like a noodly rod. I think it says a medium action. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even think it says the tip. It's kind of like a more moderate bendy tip. Okay, that sounded interesting. <laughs> oh boy, all right, first cast. We're just gonna kind of let that thing dance on its way down. Just do like a nice little feathery action movement. Actually, let me see what the action looks like. I don't even know. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it's going so soft down. It is pretty, very clear water too. I just kind of figure, I don't know. I feel like when you think about Florida fishing, when you see a lot of people fish in Florida, it's like 
using these black and blue and like June bug type colorways. I just hope that I can cast out to where these fish might be. I can't believe this water's up so high. I'm gonna really need to set that thing with this Texas rig if something's running off with it. I'm not gonna lie, man, it feels really nice out. It's like high 50s and it's freaking like late in the day. The only thing is that it was like 30 something degrees last night and the day before that it was like 40-ish something degrees. So I don't really know what these fish are doing. I don't know where these fish are. But we're just gonna kind of wing it. I don't know, my goal today, I just wanna catch my first Florida fish of the year, man. If we can at least catch one fish, I think it'll be a success here for the day. Try over there. Let's go down this way a little more. By the way, man, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see any OG budget fishing challenges at any other stores. Got the gator goggles on. Holy freaking crap. Do you guys see all these anthills? I think that's what they are, right? Oh my gosh, can you imagine if I just Freaking me. You just gotta be on guard 24-7. If you're just walking along the bank, you stumble onto one of them freaking anthills, dude. Oh. Dude, I can really not cast this that far. Especially with that wind. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Almost need like a bullet weight on here. All right, I think we're gonna try it. If I can get this thing out of here. Three inch ultimate jointed sunfish, hello? Oh yeah, it's like very jointed. No, yeah, I really don't know if this is gonna work. Look at that though. That, that might look pretty good. Oh, that was a bass. Oh my gosh. That looks like a swimming bluegill to me. This is like the deepest little area too right here that I could really cast to. Oh no. There's a lot of stuff though. <laughs> that is a long John right there. Alright, give this thing a few more casts. I think we're gonna switch back. Definitely a little sketchy. I don't know if this is like an alligator path or like a human path. Hello? I just got bit. Oh my god, something was biting me. I am literally so freaking beat, man, from traveling, and we've been doing so much stuff these past couple days. I've actually fished the past few days with this cold front that moved in. As I said, it was in like the 30s. It's just, I guess it's just really hard to catch fish at these bodies of water. Looking on the bright side though, it's only up from here, right? So we're starting off like it's struggling to catch fish. The next couple of days, it's supposed to be super warm. We're doing some filming tomorrow and filming the next day and the next day. There's gonna be so much stuff coming out. Unfortunately, like my brain has been so fried. We've been doing so much traveling, trying to catch these fish and the weather, just everything. All I gotta say, man, it's only up from here. The rod and the reel are pretty decent. I mean, for the price we paid, like I would definitely recommend if you're like kind of on a serious budget. I'm gonna be using that bluegill swim bait a lot and probably those worms a lot more too in these future videos so although we did not really catch any fish i'm telling you man it's only up from here so much cool stuff coming and just like i had to get this video up i feel like it's been so long since the last video just, just stay tuned man I'm so excited for the future man. definitely if you've not yet already make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me and yeah on that i'm gonna go finish editing this video get some sleep we're gonna be catching a lot a lot of fish in the future i'm telling you stay tuned man all i gotta say though is thank you guys so much for all the freaking support as always Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just well.